paper kit here. I want to show you what I got. I took an old battery and I cut the top off. I cleaned all the guts out of it. And I went ahead and I put a cell that I've been working on, a different type of a cell. Put it in there and I mixed it up with a two part electrolyte. Now, let me put just a little bit of water in this. I've been running this for about 10 minutes and the temperature is up, climbs up to almost 100. The longer I run it, the hotter it gets. I think it gets up to about 141 degrees, which I like because the hotter it gets, the more production it puts out. Now before I kick it on, I used to use nothing but stainless steel plates. I got two different types of plates in here and two different types of electrolytes. I've tried vinegar, I've tried baking soda, I've tried lemon juice, I've even tried Kool-Aid and nothing really puts it out the way this does. What I'm wanting to do is I'm wanting to build a enough cells to put out an ample supply of HHO gas so I can run my HHO torch. And with further ado, I'll kick it on and I'll show you. This is only on 12 volts. Now I'll go ahead and I'll kick my uh, alternator charger on to it because it helps enhance it. If you look over here, they're on about 25 amps. If you look real closely, you can see that hydrogen just coming off of it. Now that's just one cell. I've just been experimenting. I'll build better cells, construct them a lot better. This works good. Now I'll go ahead and light the torch. Usually, if I was running hydroxide, it would pop. Big loud pops. With this electrolyte that I'm running, it just burns. Stick my torch right down next to it. If I hit it, they turn the lights on. You'll never see it there. actually see flame burn. I actually see it jumping down into the electrolyte. There was a way that I could just vent this gas coming straight out of a tube. You could see it better. But you can see it ignite. Take it away and you can see. 
see the play. But it's a different type of a electrolyte. It acts a little different than hydroxy. I'm still running about 25 amps. It don't climb. If we shoot the water temperature now, I'm thinking with six of these going and with it capped under pressure, she'll do the job that I want. But it's something. Next video I show, I'll have the uh, whole battery sealed and everything hooked up to it. There's no hydroxide in it because if there was, now it's hot, but if that was hydroxide, that would be burning me right about now. But I don't know what it is about this. Anyway, before I take off and show you, I'll show you what the cell looks like. The cell. is lead. It's a lead plate out of the battery. I cleaned all the lead sulfate out and of it. And that's what it is. Lead is the one that throws off the hydrogen. The stainless is the one for the positive. Next, I was thinking that if you take it and you put another one on the other side, you get it double the amount of bubbles come out of it. Who knows? The only thing I can do is try. Anyway, when I come back with the next video, I have it in the operation and I'll show you what it does on the HHO torch. Vapor Kid, see ya.